Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed part one. We will focus on importing to Unreal Engine for this one. It is a must to set up your model file in Blender first to bring any facial animation into Unreal. Firstly, we will be in Blender and add the material files to a handy folder for easy importing. Locate the folder where your Mixamo animation is. If you followed correctly, your facial shape keys will be stored in the FBX. Create a folder and name this materials. Select your model. Go to the shading tab. We will locate the material files on your computer. Watch closely. Create a new Unreal project. For this, we will use the third-person games template. Create a new level. Then go down in the Content Manager. Create a folder for your model. Drag your model's FBX file into this folder. This part is important. You want to import animations, and your shape keys are called morph targets in Unreal Engine. Check both boxes and import. Close the message log. We now have a working animation imported but with empty materials. The same as the FBX, drag all your materials into the content browser. Double click one of the materials. I choose the body one, so I will then drag all the body images into the window. This is a very basic texture. It can be done better, but for the tutorial, it's fine. There is better tutorials for texturing around. For this one, I just look at the end letter on the file name and it's a good indication of where it goes. Some we will not be using. Press apply and save when you have finished the material. Repeat the steps for as many materials you have. We now have a fully textured model. Open the animation by double-clicking. Our facial morph targets are kept in the curves menu. Search for what you want to key. Follow closely. Add key frames to the timeline. Then adjust the value anywhere up to one. This will alter the mesh like you had done in Blender, but now we can keyframe it in Unreal. I am keyframing the hair to move side to side here, so it goes from 0 to 1, 
and then back to zero. Go back to the other tab and search for your other morph targets and repeat the keying process. Press save in the top left. Insert a camera into project. Put close to model. Open up a new level sequence. To quickly add the camera and model, follow closely. When you models in the sequence, press the plus to add your animation to it. You're pretty much ready to render, the rest is keying your camera movements, etc. I hope this tutorial helped someone, it was getting a little long and I rushed it out. I tried to keep it as simple as possible. Thanks for anyone that commented asking, and once again, thanks for watching.